Hello everyone. Welcome back. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today I am going to discuss one very interesting and very useful real-time SD-WAN policy. If you are a network engineer, then you must have heard a lot about route leaking. We often configure route leaking between VRFs. Even in MPLS course, we had discussed route leaking in MPBGP. For route leaking in SD-WAN, we have a centralized policy called extranet policy. First of all, understand what is intranet and what is extranet. Intranet means internal private communication within the organization or you can say within the VPN. In SD-WAN, intranet means internal private communication within the VPN. And extranet means communication between two or more VPNs. Right here you can see in my ST WAN lab I have two VPN VPN 1 and VPN 2 two service VPN VPN 1 is the corporate users and VPN 2 um, the servers right we have lots of servers in VPN 2 and all the corporate users in VPN 1 but you know the default behavior of ST WAN default behavior is what each VPNs are fully isolated VPN 1 routes are only advertised to VPN one network across across all the sites similarly vpn2 routes are only advertised to vpn2 across all sites right means pc1 can talk with pc3 can talk with pc5 can talk with pc7 but pc1 cannot talk with a pc2 or pc4 or pc6 or pc8 right because pc2 pc4 pc6 and pc8 are in vpn2 right pc2 can co communicate with uh, pc4 can talk with pc6 can talk with pc8 but can't talk with any user in vpn1 right vpn1 and 2 are isolated by default this is the default behavior right so all corporate users in all the sites means branches and DC can talk to each other but VPN 1 user can't talk to VPN 2 user. Sometimes you need extra net policy here. Extra net policy means like if you want all the corporate users should be able to access servers. Here you have to um, configure route leaking. You have to export VPN 1 route into VPN 2 and VPN 2 route into VPN 1. This is general and common real-time scenario after this video i will make one more video where i will cover the actual implementation of extra net policy in the production that is going to be more than like 90 more than 90 percent organizations are using extra net policy in that way in exactly same way but to understand it first this video is very important understand first how it is going to work okay so i am expecting you all know the default behavior and stvan is very simple technology but it is very powerful you know this and i am expecting if you are the subscriber or a student at pm networking that means you are good enough with the default behavior of st van right it is similar like the legacy when like two vrf can't communicate with each other similarly two vpn can't communicate with each other done even we can verify it here you can see i have access of v, vs1 right and in vs1 if i am going to run command so ip dot let's say vpn1 so you can see vpn1 routing table here we have all 192 subnets right subnet in the dc vpn1 is 192.168.10.0 right um, here 2.0 192.168.2.0 3.0 in branch 3 in vpn2 we have this submit 172.16.10.0 172.16.2.0 um, 3.0 and 4.0 and here you can see in vpn1 routing table we have all 192 subnets right these prefixes are coming from omp right the vpn1 subnet of branch 1 vpn1 submit of branch 2 vpn1 submit of branch 3 and this is the connected subnet in dc great because of this even if you will access pc1 and if you are going to ping um, 192.168. let's say 2.1 means i am pinging to pc3 branch 1 vpn1 user ping will work but if i will ping to let's say pc4 vpn2 user in branch 1 
पिंक पिंक वन सेवेंटी टू डॉट सिक्सटीन डॉट टू डॉट वन और टू डॉट टेन यू कैन सी पिंक इज नॉट वर्किंग टू डॉट वन पिंक इज नॉट वर्किंग वाई डेस्टिनेशन होस्ट होस्ट अन रिचेबल बिकॉज पी सी वन इज गोइंग टू जनरेट ट्रैफिक राइट इन द ट्रैफिक सोर्स आई पी आर एस विल बी वन नाइनटी टू वन सिक्सटी डॉट टेन डॉट वन डेस्टिनेशन विल बी वन सेवेंटी टू डॉट सिक्सटीन डॉट टू डॉट वन राइट इट विल फॉर्वर्ड टू दियर गेट वे टू वी एच वी एच इज गोइंग टू कंपेयर डेस्टिनेशन आई पी विद रॉडिंग टेबल राइट इट विल फॉर्वर्ड ट्रैफिक टू वी आई पी सेक वी पी एन एंड देर इज नो एनी राउट एवेलेबल इन वी पी एन वन राइट यू कैन सी ऑन वी एच वन द रिसीविंग इंटरफेस वे आर पी सी वन इज कनेक्टेड इज इन वी पी एन वन सो रन वी पी एन वन G zero slash one is in VPN one, right? So it will check VPN one routing table. So IP route VPN one, and in VPN one routing table we don't have one seventy two dot sixteen dot two dot zero or three dot zero any one seventy two prefix, right? In both VPN VPN one and two we have full mesh topology, intranet. This is called intranet. By default behavior active and behavior is intranet means each VPN will have full mesh connectivity but between the vpn users can't talk they can't communicate right and here to make it possible we will configure policy okay so now what i am going to do here i am going to export vpn 1 route into vpn 2 and vpn 2 route into vpn 1 first of all i need list site list right where i will match all the sites if you want to apply it for all the sites you can create single site list right if you want to apply it only to the branches branch 1 2 3 you can create multiple site list then vpn list is required where i will match vpn 1 and vpn 2 now without wasting our time let's start here you can see the dashboard of my vmanage and i don't have any policy here right we don't have any policy first i can create some list go to um, custom option and create some list site list I am going to create one site list with name. Let's say all sites, all sites. Let's match site ID one, DC site, site ID two, branch two, three, and four. All the sites. Now I need two VPN list. So let me take you to the VPN and VPN list. Let me say VPN one, or I can say corporate VPN, corporate VPN. And here I am going to call VPN ID one and one server VPN. server vpn and here i am going to call vpn id 2 and let me add it now i need to create topology because extranet is a centralized control policy here we will control the route if i will talk about again rules so you know we have three rules in the policy first one is t lock rule second one is route rule and third one is default rule so for t lock for t lock just i am going to match the t lock of all the sites and action except will not modify anything for t lock for t lock just i need to accept the action even you can ignore you can do one thing you can configure default action uh, permit right but for the route for the route what i will say match route of all the sites route of all the sites in vpn 1 and export it to vpn 2 similarly match route of all the sites of vpn 2 if this is the route of vpn 2 then export it to vpn 1 right but in this case what will happen if i will apply this policy vpn 1 will not have have full mesh topology correct so you can modify the default rule default action can be accept okay so let's begin let me create one topology here go to topology and add topology custom control topology right name of my topology is let's say i am saying t1 topology 1 or you can say uh, extra net policy extra net topology extra net topology copy and paste in the description and let's create the rule you can see default rule is rejected for now keep it as it is let me add t lock rule first for t lock i have single rule match um, site id all the sites if this is any site action just accept that's it right we have allow the t lock now i am going to create a route rule so route 
and let me get the first rule what I am saying match the VPN if this is the route of VPN corporate VPN then action accept it and export it to export to VPN to main service and server VPN done see very simple match VPN corporate if this is the route of corporate VPN because this is route rule if this is the route of corporate VPN accept and export to server VPN means VPN to save it I need to create one more route rule here this time match route of VPN to means server VPN action again accept and export to you can change the t-log t-log action service for service insertion you can set the preference value OMP tag value just I am exporting um, VPN 2 into VPN 1 so export to VPN 1 corporate VPN and save it and default action is rejected for now let me save this policy right now your topology is done now I need to create the policy go to um, policy next and here I can import my topology which topology custom control topology and here we have extra net topology let me import it and say next next and here I am going to name it let's say policy 1 policy 1 copy and paste in the description and let me apply it for all the sites in in direction right what I want I want that policy should be applied on VA smart before selecting the best path right so I will apply it in in direction in bond direction for all the sites let's add it and let's preview this policy if you will preview here you can here you can see rule number one is saying what match T lock of all the sites and action except rule number two is saying what what match routes of VPN 1 corporate VPN prefix any action accept and export to server VPN next rule match route of server VPN any prefix action accept and export to corporate VPN and default action rejected and applied for all the sites right let me save it it's clear and before activating this policy right now policy is not activated before activating you can verify as you have already verified that uh, PC1 is not able to talk with PC4 or not able to talk with PC2 right let's say PC2 IP address 10.10.172.16.10.10 and you can see ping is not working right PC1 is in VPN1 it can talk with any user in VPN1 similarly PC2 is in VPN2 so it can talk with any user in VPN2 like ping 172.16. Let's say 2.10, and you can see ping 172.16. 2.10. You can see ping is working. Means I'm pinging to PC4, right? It is working. But if I will ping PC number three or PC one from PC two, it will not work. Ping 192.168.2.10. You can see ping is not working, right? Even you can verify the routing table here on your vManage go to um, uh, vh real time and here if i will show you the routing table ip route ip route and filter it filter show me the routing table of vpn1 you can see we have only 192 subnets right i don't have any 172 subnets similarly if you will change the filter and if i will show you in vpn2 so in vpn2 you can see we have all 172 subnets now I am going to activate my policy let's click on activate now you can see policy is activated and again if I will show you the routing table let's say routing table of VPN 1 now routing table of VPN 1 you can see now in VPN 1 we have all 172 subnets as well right 192 subnets as well as 172 subnets similarly in VPN 2 in VPN 2 you have all the prefixes of VPN 1 as well as VPN 2 right it means all 172 subnets and 192 subnets even you can verify it through CLI now now on the VS 1 if you will check routing table of VPN 1 you will find all 172 subnets right with the same T lock and now if PC 1 
means VPN one user is going to ping, let's say VPN two users. Now you can see ping is working, right? This is what this is extra net. Extra net means between the VPN we have exchanged the routes, which is not default behavior by default. All the VPNs have full mesh topology, full mesh connectivity within the VPN, right? Intranet. Now we have extra net communication. But this is not the most common scenario but this is the concept and in next video I will discuss the real time um, scenario which we are using in the production and most of the time we are using in the production right you will have one centralized server and you want to configure route leaking right for a particular server very good that's all for today guys if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you are new on the channel then subscribe this channel We'll meet soon in next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye. That's all for today. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.